I would like to play first. That hand's fine. If I get another land, I'm playing Giant Spider, which seems to hold off most of his team. My opponent also didn't mulligan, which is nice in terms of the game. Uh, no reason to play a forest there. Again, if I had another forest, I would have played it in case I draw Arch Druid, but I guess let him think we're colour screwed for a bit. Wonder if this guy was to our left. Maybe they were two the two squadron hawks we passed. He probably wasn't immediately to the left, but say two or three seats down. I doubt the squadron hawks went later than three seats from me. He's thinking about this, he's not sure whether he wants to find it, I guess. Maybe it's in his hand. Oh no, he's just waiting with the trigger on the stack. I don't know what he's thinking. Seven pain is reasonable. I'm not going to play it just yet because I've got Giant Spider. I also don't want to play Mind Rot just yet. Squadron Hawk's quite good against Mind Rot. I probably should have taken that out. That's the second Squadron Hawk, unsurprisingly. So in the first game we wanted double black and we just drew forest. And in the second game we want double green for one of the four double green cards and we've drawn four swamps. But that's how it goes in magic sometimes. Gender Spitfire is not a huge inconvenience. I can always block. Okay, I can definitely always block now. I was just going to say I can block and if he bolts me I stabbing pain his spitfire so it's not too bad. Also got Gravedigger now to bring back the spider that's holding off his entire team. Assuming this guy was to our left then in fact no I'm just trying to work out which I can't remember which pack it was. That was the second green source. Which pack was it that I passed the Arbiter and the Ascension really late? That was pack 2, wasn't it? Yeah, in which case, ignore what I was about to say. I was going to say we should look out for the Arbiter or the Ascension. But, I mean, I, I guess it, it wouldn't be him that has them unless he was to the a couple of seats to the right. The Squadron Hawks might have made it around that late. Uh, Servant is fine because I have a Basilisk. But yeah, I was going to say as well, um, if he has the Arbiter, we can try and catch it with Mind Rot. But, I mean, we don't know anything for sure. We don't, we've, we have no idea where this guy was sat. He also has a Spitfire, which could have been in the same first pack as Squadron Hawk. So, he might have just not seen that first wave of Squadron Hawks and had his own wave near to him. And again, if he took the Spitfire, he was probably about four seats down. So yeah, we can't really gauge anything from what we've seen. Fiery Hellhound. That's fine, I suppose. That's not great, but Giant Spider's still holding it off. One of us might draw something soon. I, oh, I, I would say, I really wish this was a... I was just going to say, I really wish this was a Diabolic Tutor, because I could tutor for my skeletons and actually start doing something, but I guess taking his last two cards is good. Let's see what he's got. Chieftain. And Act of Treason. Oh, Act of Treason is a nice one to hit. He might have even used it next turn. Take my basilisk or my spider and swing for a lot. Just 
Still nothing. Oh, he's attacking. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna block. So it's stabbing pain. So he pumps it to max, and then I stabbing pain it. Yep. 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 So I stabbing pain it, and then his guy dies. Uh huh. Yeah, I think I can attack with my basilisk now because of that. Because if he does decide to attack with their servant, I just take the four and then roll assassin next turn. Bam! Take three. If he kills a roll assassin, I grave digger it back and do the same. Bam, take three. Might block it this time with a servant and a squadron hawk or something. Just a squadron hawk. No, yeah. I guess I'll rearrange it like this. Not sure if it makes much difference, but. Aha, Gravedigger tilt. Wrote an article about that once, I think. About how Gravedigger really tilts your opponent, so it's much better than it looks. I mean, it's already a pretty good card. It really tilts your opponent when you put a lot of work into killing their guy and they just bring it back and make a 2-2. Two -two. Seems like my opponent's drawing a whole lot of nothing at the moment, which is good for me. We've got a lot of live draws as well. Stuff like sword and multiple sign in blood and that kind of stuff. Skeletons as well is really good. Whereas he's got Manic Vandals. There we go, there's one of the Sign and Bloods. And there's the sword. Awesome. Even drew a removal spell, that was probably the best Sign and Blood I could have had at that point. Bam. Take five. Block it if you want. <laughs> Having first strike, trample, and death touch on the same guy just makes him completely unstoppable in combat. The only way he can stop that is with a five power first striker. Everything else just gets eaten. He can put any number of creatures in front and it will eat five of them. Yep, I'm almost definitely winning this game. Not even fireball will do it, so I'll happily sign in blood to 15. Bam. Uh, just working out if I should put my uh, Sword of Vengeance on the spider or something. Get more damage in. I probably will do that next turn. I'm just assuming I've won here. So it's Fireball would kill a lot of my guys. I'd probably keep the Basilisk. So he can't kill the Basilisk and something else. And the Basilisk is the relevant one now. Yeah, I win. Let's have a good game three. So yeah, I was saying about Mind Rot, probably comes out, uh, Diabolic Tutor comes back in, I think. His deck doesn't seem too great, and so I think it's better to have a definite answer to whatever I need at the time. <laughs> 